save the stress, save the mess, save the fingers. Well, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Kyra Sean. Today's video is brought to you by Neat and Sleek. They were kind of to send me another unit to review for you guys. So I will be showing you guys the install for this unit. If you wanna see how to lay and slay your braided unit, make sure you stay tuned for that. Later on in the video, we'll be giving you guys some in-depth tips and tricks on how I lay and slay my braided units for me. Cause sometimes braided units can look like braided units, okay? So we wanna make sure they look as natural as possible. So I'm gonna show you guys and tell you guys how I'm able to do that with my units, okay? So if you wanna see and hear about all that as well as what I think about the unit, shout out the pack. Make sure if you're new to the channel, you go ahead and subscribe and smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. comes to us from Neat and Sleek. It is their brand new Hope unit. This is a 13 by six butterfly lock unit. So it's 13 inches of lace from ear to ear. Six inches of lace here in the middle. It also comes with two combs on the side, no comb on the back and the adjustable straps. It also has an elastic band. So if you wanna rock this unit glueless, you can do that. Y'all know my head is big every day, okay? 23 inches. This cap only comes in a small or medium and I'm wearing the medium size cap and it does fit down perfectly on my head. I did have a little bit of excess lace over here on the side that I did cut off. But as far as the rest of the cap, is fitting down perfectly. If you watched my put down, you saw that I did spray my unit down just to get the look that I wanted. I could probably have rocked this unit glueless if I didn't plan on doing upsides with this unit, but because I wanted to rock this unit for the rest of the day and I wanted my side to be up like this, I went on and sprayed her down so you guys could see the meltage, okay? Can we get into the melt that is this lace? Tell me a better melt. Go ahead, I'll wait. I 
never had issues melting my lace for my neat and sleek units. And this is my fourth time reviewing a wig from them. And y'all, it just gets better and better every single time, okay? Every single time, sis. So if you saw the put down, you saw that I used certain products around my hairline. I may not have shown them in the install, but I will tell you about them right now, okay? So normally under my lace, I do put some foundation powder. I normally use my Maybelline Fit Me powder in 360. However, this time I didn't do that because I didn't feel like it needed it based on how the lace was sitting on my skin tone when I tried her on. But I did use my Got To Be Free spray to spray her down because if you don't know, I rarely wear my units at night and the Got To Be Free spray just comes off very easily. Spray her down with some water and she'll lift right up. If you are finicky about your ear tabs, a lot of people don't like using the free spray around their ear tabs because it doesn't give a strong hold. You know, for some, I would definitely suggest using the Got To Be Ultra Glued Styling Gel in the black bottle um, to get that hold that you want. It takes a little bit longer to dry down. Um, just make sure you, you know, blow dry to get it tacky or whatever. Or you can use a yellow bottle, but the yellow bottle sometimes leaves a white residue for me, so I don't like using it all the time. So those are two products that I like to use to um, secure my unit to make sure it's good to go. Now, as far as the hairline is concerned, you did see me go in and use my tweezers as well as the pulling method to pull out some of the baby hairs. And even though it has the sparse, it's still kind of full. If you're not used to baby hairs, that's still gonna be a lot of baby hairs for you to work with. So I wasn't keeping all that around my face. I just went on and pulled some of them out, gave me the swoops that I wanted, and that was it. And for my swoopage, I used my Nairobi Wrap and Shine Foaming Lotion just to get them together so they wasn't, you know, as harsh as they would be with my edge control. It gives more of like a wispy look in my opinion. I also went in and tied the unit down as you saw. I kept it tied down while I did my makeup and then I took her off and used my excess foundation brush across the top here. This is the brush that I use to do my foundation when I do my makeup. I don't add any excess product on this brush when I go in on top of my lace because I want it to be as natural and as close to skin-like as I can get it. If I put any more product on this brush and try to go up around here, it'll get real cakey and messy and it's just, that's not what we want. And then as far as the parting space and the hairline was concerned, towards the end, just kind of brighten it up and pop it out a little bit. I did use the Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder in 330. This is 330 Toffee. And then I also used my Hair Fetish Knot Eraser to, you know, define those parts a little bit. But that step is optional depending on how the lace is sitting on your face, okay? I didn't do anything extra to the actual hair. The locks of the unit are very, very neat. And that can be like, you know, a deterrent for some people. I know butterfly locks can either be neat like this or they may be a little bit messier and you know distressed. I want mine to look a little bit more distressed for me so most likely I will just go in and kind of you know run my hand up and down this joint to kind of give it the messy look that I want. So for all you guys who saw my previous video when I did the um, synthetic brand butterfly lock unit a lot of you guys had the same preferences that I had as far as you know the look of the unit, the distress of the unit, the parting space of the unit, things like that. And some of you guys were looking for a more high quality unit that may fit more into your budget. This is a high quality unit. Okay neat and sleek comes with the quality every time but but just so you know, you're gonna pay for that quality. A lot of y'all be asking for the quality, but then by the time it gets to the quality, you're a little. Miss Jackson. The quality that you're asking for is gonna come with some zeros behind it, but just think about how long you can have this unit, okay? This joint gonna last you for years. If you want butterfly locks today, knotless braids tomorrow, kinky curly the next day, and Brazilian straight on Friday, hello? So what we thinking, okay, what we thinking? I like this wig. It's the hairline, okay, it's the hairline for me. If Kenny was home right now, let me tell you. Mm. If you want chin length or shoulder length, I'm pretty sure I got shoulder. They're both the same price. So, again, shop in your budget. Let the wig do the work, sis. Save the stress, save the mess, save the fingers. Anyway, I will put all my specs as well as the direct link for this unit down below. So if you guys wanna check it out for yourself, you can do that. Shout out one more time to Neat and Sleek for sending me this unit. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.